Hey guys, how's it going? Wireless Hotshot right here, and today I'm going to show you step by step how to install a low profile graphics card or any graphics card in that case. Uh, but this one is specifically has the Radeon HD5450 and it has a DVI, it has a DVI, HDMI, and a VGA. And what you want to do if you have a low profile tower, and the way you know that you have a low profile tower is the tower is about 4 inches wide and just you noticeably different sizing compared to a normal desktop and the first thing you want to do if you have a low profile low profile graphics card is remove this screw this screw this one and this one now after you removed all of those the bracket should easily come right off without any problem at all and you can go ahead and set the bracket down on the ground or wherever you want to set it and you can go ahead and if you don't need the VGA cable you can actually take it off very simply by flipping it over and see in the back all you have to do is wiggle it out of there and it comes right off just like so but in this example I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on just to show you what you can do with it if you want to keep it on and use it for an external sources a dual monitor as well so what you want to do next is you want to get the smaller low profile bracket that comes with your graphics card and you just want to line it just like that with the DVI and HDMI so that it makes it exceptionally smaller and what you want to do next is you want to get these screws that we took out earlier and you just want to put them back in so that it holds the graphics card together and for myself I actually lost this screw and this screw right there but that's not a problem the graphics card stays together as long as you have this very secure and tightened down with a wrench or some sort of tool now this part right here is optional but what you can do with this VGA cable is if you have another low profile bracket one like this you can actually stick it on the bracket lower just so that you can use it as well or do something like this you can stick it like this and screw it in so that you can use it and when you're done it should look something like this all connected and so it looks something like this and something I recommend before you actually go in and touch all the computer components and everything just touch your hands on the side of this so that you discharge all the static within your hands now what you gotta do when you're actually ready to install the card onto the motherboard is you gotta determine which port you gotta plug the card into. In my case I have a PCI Express 16 or X16. And what you gotta do is you just gotta line up the ports with the card and kinda push it all the way to the back to the left in this video and just kinda snap it down into the ports and then it'll secure the card into the motherboard itself. And what you want to do if you need to uninstall this is you can usually there's a lever of some sort and what you got to do is you got to either pull it back or push it forward. In this case I got to pull it back and you can easily just lift this up out of there. Now if you've done everything correctly this is a brief overview of what it should look like so far. Now something you gotta do and make sure you do it is don't plug your VGA into the integrated graphics card. Make sure you plug it in to the graphics card you just installed so that you can install it properly. Now what you gotta do now is you gotta start up your computer. So you just go ahead and power it on like normal. 